The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Okay, so for number 13, we have to perform the operations on a kind of complicated trig equation. So we have 1 minus sine theta times tangent theta plus secant theta. So the problems like this can be confusing because even if you know all the rules, uh, you know all the identities, sometimes they can be a little bit difficult just because it's hard to tell what you have to do first. One good thing to look for is that if you have anything other than sine and cosine, like tangents and secants, if they don't already conform to one of your identities, which this doesn't, tangent plus secant is not any identity that you know. One good thing to do is convert them all to sines and cosines. So we have one minus sine theta. Tangent is sine theta over cosine theta. Clear that up here. Sine theta over cosine theta, and secant theta is 1 over cosine theta. So you can see by writing it like that, we've actually discovered that these have the same common denominator and can be added. So we have 1 minus sine theta. So now over here, we would have sine theta plus 1 all over cosine theta. And now if we just reverse that order and multiply all this together, because you can imagine this is over 1. What we're going to get is 1 minus sine theta, 1 plus sine theta. So I just reversed the order of these two so that it looked the same for those. But since it's addition, that's fine. Over cosine theta. So you can see from here, 1 minus sine theta, 1 plus sine theta is a factored form of a difference of two squares, which means that that actually is 1 minus sine squared theta. And 1 minus sine squared theta comes from your Pythagorean identity. Sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. So 1 minus sine squared is just cosine squared. So we get cosine squared over cosine, and finally, that means one of them cancels out, and we just get cosine theta as our results, which is answer choice E. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.